determined. And what did I tell you about getting in my chat? That's for me, man. You're supposed to talk about the game. Okay. Anyway, game one going on here. <laughs> uh, CC has actually proven to have a bit of a Samus problem in the past, but uh, he's definitely leveled up a lot since the last time I feel like he played a solid Samus. So we'll, I'm very interested to see how this goes. Uh, I know, uh, I think it was Sacred last time he played CC. Every time CC would spin dash at him, he would wait for CC to spin dash and then let the sh charge shot loose. Right. So that's something CC has to be very aware of. Because you have the invincibility of the startup frames. Yeah, only on startup though. So, uh, like you'll you'll probably see them with almost a full, sta full stage length in front of them almost at all times, especially once that charge shot is charged. Correct. It's definitely going to be a very slower matchup, but I mean, as you see, Samson's already at 93% right now. Very scary percent for him to be at. Um, with Sonic having so many kill confirms and his setups off of pretty much anything. Ooh. Good stuff from CC, trying to catch the air dodge. Dash attack into fair, not going to take it. Good patience from Samson right now. A little hasty on that F smash. If he would have waited, he might have been able to catch the homing attack with the uh, charge shot. Okay, so that, that shield is tiny, but this is Sonic, so he doesn't really right. matter. He's just going to stay in his spin dash. He's going to let his sh shield recharge. Words are hard, man. Uh. <laughs> Samson uh, traded with the uh, hit of spin dash up close with jab, actually, right there. Um, so that's actually really interesting. Yeah, uh, a lot of fast jabs can actually clank with the spin dash, but I'd really like to see Samson hold on to his charge shot a little bit better, or more and pick his shots a little bit better. Because, again, like, once he... Okay, you know, or, or he could do that. <laughs> or, or that works. <laughs> uh, it looks like the custom charge shot almost there for a second. I mean, I've never seen it hit inside of someone like that before, so yeah. that was interesting, to say the least. Good stuff. 23% onto CC right now. Samson does have the lead. Just kind of needs to bide his time with this, try and find a way in, and just be very patient. But the back air will take it with a preemptive air dodge. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised to see that he didn't go for the up air, but mixing it up with that back air, I like it. Probably caught his DI too, if yeah. that was at a lower percent. And CC doing CC things and racking up damage pretty fast right now. Good uh, pressure. Yeah. All right, so Samson having a little bit of trouble finding his footing. I feel like CC has, I mean, once the charge shot is not fully charged, CC can kind of just run around and just keep the pressure on Samson. Right. <laughs> I think he was trying to maybe go for an up air there. Good back air from CC, sending him off the stage. Tries to position himself in a position that would be very detrimental to Samson right now. Yeah, CC does have to be careful. I believe that was like a half charge shot. Yeah, Ooh, that was yeah. good. Good pressure. There was delayed pressure too. The fair not going to take it. Very scary situation for CC right now. Charge shot is on deck. It will take the stock. See Samson just kind of playing around him. Ooh. Ooh, good power shield. Fair might have taken it there. Yeah, back, back throw. throw. Sam is pretty heavy. I was. I thought it was going to take it, but I was wrong. He ha does he have his jump? All right, doesn't really matter. Back throw probably will take it here, and it does. Good stuff from CC, biding his time right there on the stock and just trying to find a way to avoid uh, the type of pressure that Samson was putting out. But I feel like Samson was playing more of a reaction game there, um, which I guess I can kind of agree with. But um, I don't know. I feel like a lot of Samus's moves come out really slow, so playing on reaction is kind of rough. Like right. You have to have some pretty hard predictions and reads. I would like to see Samson maybe use more falling there. Because um, yeah. I feel like that would be a better option than down air. Or maybe he's been trying to go for it and just messing up. But uh, it would just give him more pressure with a landing hitbox, really, to where he would be able to um, maybe catch CC a bit more um, when he tries to approach him. Good falling up air. And he charges the up smash. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this match. Uh, or not this match, this stage. I like this stage. Like, there's plenty of space for both of them to run around, and CC has already proved that, like, for him to win this game, he has to stay pretty aggressive and try and keep Samson in the air. Because uh, I'm not sure if you know, but you actually can't charge the charge shot while you're in the air. Right. Yeah, that does throw people off sometimes. The same PM. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So as long as CC can keep Samson juggled, he's in a pretty solid position. But once that charge shot is online, CC has to be very careful. Ooh. Yeah. I like actually do like this kind of pick here because it, um, as you saw last game, uh, CC was escaping to a lot of platforms, and now this eliminates the platform uh, factor. So now CC has to play a more head-on game and has to respect the charge shot even more. 
So. Yeah. So uh, if Samson does win this, we'll probably see something like a Battlefield or a Dreamland in the very near future. Because as you did say, the platforms definitely help with varying CC's landing. But CC, oh, d doesn't quite catch it because of the air dodge. I'm surprised he didn't up B there. I mean, it was definitely a risky situation oh, there. Oh, that's actually very true because there is a lot of knockback on that up B. That would have definitely taken the stock. Uh, I don't know if it would have been a definitely, but it, it would have put CC like above him and, and put them in a Ooh. very odd position. But up yeah, it's going to take that. But then again, if CC would have reacted and had air dodged again, then that would have been a very bad situation for Samson. But then again, uh, Sonic has this hard time landing, so like we wouldn't have really known what would have happened. True. But, um, I mean, the up E, it actually lasts a very long time. I'm not ooh. sure if it would have outlasted the air dodge. So we'll, we'll find out later. Actually, we probably won't. Anyway, <laughs> but we're back to even right now. That was a good uh, up tilt there. He covered the ledge option there, baiting him with his air. Yeah, you don't see a lot of uh, competitive Samus's, so it's All really right. hard to know what their options are. Well, I gotta go play another match, so let's go. Good job, Scott. <laughs> All right, so uh, looks like it's just gonna be me. Uh, hopefully someone will hop on eventually. Also, uh, we're here at Gigabytes Cafe, and uh, that sandwich looks really good. I am starving, man. <laughs> but back to the match. All right, so uh, things actually very even right now. That charge shot, not necessarily going to kill. If he can get another, like, 20%, I can definitely see it killing. But CC taking advantage of the invincibility frames on Star up there. Also, I'm being joined by... Inhale. What's up, guys? Formerly N45. Bad tier player all the way. <laughs> all right. Backer has Samus in a very bad position. All right. He's got great horizontal cover and decent vertical off of the up B. So with Samus, um, you know, when I first started playing the game, I picked up Samus myself. Um, I understand what he's trying to do. Right now, Samus can um, actually dash attack up B and kill Sonic with the, uh, the, the, what's it, the offset hitbox and take the stock. Oh, I actually saw that earlier in a, a video put up by Dragon Smash earlier. Yeah, yeah that's ridiculous. Yeah, I, uh, I joined their Discord the other day, and they've got a lot of Samus tech in there that uh, that I think I you know I can share with him to make sure he gets something. But at this point, I know Sonic can get around, and he takes the stock with the up B. But yeah, with Sonic, uh, Sonic versus Samus, I say that if you can try to get the charge shot, and I know there's a lot of pressure on him because Sonic can get across the stage very quickly. I'm sorry, I, I looked away for a second. What happened? How did he get the stock? Did he, he do up the, the dash attack up B or just the up E? Raw up B. Okay. Mm -hmm. He, uh, I think he hit with a shield and he just up B it out of shield, which is a really good option on um, at that high percent because you know with Rage is most likely definitely to take it unless you got God like Di. So it looks like they're going for the stage um, stage pick. Who won the first one? Was it? Was CC it definitely CC? won the first one. Yeah. All right, so we're going back to Final Desu. All right, so I'm actually very surprised to see CC run back to the stage. I was kind of expecting maybe a Battlefield or a Dreamland, something with platforms to vary up the land and give him some options to go mm -hmm. around the projectiles. But CC very comfortable on FD, so I'm not too surprised. Right, and sometimes when your comfort zone is what you would go for versus the better options because yeah. sometimes when you feel comfortable you feel more com you feel um, more reliant on just landing now right now he's racking up to 80 percent damage on samson and he has yet to go for a charge side it could be conditioning from the first two games i didn't see the first one but from what i'm seeing from the second one it seems he's conditioned to um to try to get damage in oh cc trying to read the air dodge normally you see him catch that because samson has been air dodging almost immediately after the up uh, up throw. Right. Yeah. That's the you now right here. He's at 150. If he could at least get, I would say, 15% on Sonic and do the dash tech up B, he could take the sock. <laughs> that is ridiculous to know that's a thing. Yep. Uh, playing against Sam, a lot of Samus's in the Discord, and they were just doing that all day. All right, so he's going for the charge shot, but trying to keep him spaced out. But Sonic, once again, his speed can close that gap almost instantly. All right, he's going to go for it. <laughs> now, was was that an instance of uh, maybe a miss input, or is there just too much damage for him to catch the dash attack and up B? I think it was too much damage, okay. and also Sonic was DIing outward, um, so he probably would have had to step forward first, giving it more, um, you know, taking the stun away from Sonic, giving him more time to react to it. Yeah. Um, so CC definitely aware of the shenanigans and knowing to DI away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I was very curious to know if he did know, but it, it appears he does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could be since we're so close and I'm talking about it. <laughs> yeah. But no, I think he already knew. Sam is whiffing the grab, and Sonic's putting on more damage, increasing that extra credit. Now, what I think Sam should do 
because his grab can actually, um, t Tether can actually grab Sonic in the roll. So at least bait the charge shot and go for a grab if he can. Yeah. Now, uh, you bring up the Tether. Uh, back home we have Bakuda, the Olimar, so CC's definitely aware that the Tether can grab out, uh. of, the, out of it, but... Misses the charge shot by be well, reversing it the opposite direction. Would have hit if he was facing the right way. Going for the back throw. Let's see what options he's got. All right, goes for a jump back here. Just to, uh, I guess, scare him from away from the stage. Now, I, I don't really agree with the back air from Samus on that part because if he would have hit him with a back air, they would have traded and he would have lost that trade. Um, CC just getting the damage in and getting out of there. Over here looking like a car from GTA, hit and run. <laughs> All right, so like right here, there you go. Just charge, you should charge shot and then just shield. Don't even go for it. Oh, it takes it, okay. Shut my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, Sam Samson in a very grim position at already 102%, mm -hmm. or 132 words, man. Numbers. <laughs> what is the English and the mathematical dictionary? All right, goes for the forward. It falls back to go to the ledge. Now, I don't see him using tether a lot for the recovery. Um, and I don't know if he doesn't feel confident in it or if it's just the way he plays. Goes for a forward here. Let's see what options he's got now. So, uh, Samson doing a good job of putting on damage right now, actually. Now, uh, I believe he's already out of the, the percent range for the, the Samus shenanigans. Right. So. If he was oh. heavier, um, he could get it. But Sonic, you know, being a light character. Now, he's holding charge shot online, putting CC on the defensive, but he goes in for a grab anyway. One more up throw or forward throw will actually take it on Samson, and I think he's not. Yeah, I think he's aware of that, but still goes in anyway. Just keeps putting that shield poke. Now I don't. Oh, know, good near. Good, yeah, good near by Sonic, which I don't agree with what Samson did after that forward tilt. He should have instantly shot that charge shot, because uh, CC would have had to play the 